So this movie is supposed to be a story, but the storyline is not very like you know there are movies that have like very good storyline they show from the beginning, and there's some that has some storyline, but then is not very clear. And there are some movies that has like no baseline at all, and they just decide, let's go ahead and film and see how it goes. And this movie is one of them where you have like when they have like no storyline. So these girls barely know each other. You can tell from the the beginning, barely know each other, and this is supposed to be, um, in present day, due to the coronavirus, so they're all locked down, and they, they, these girls randomly meet each other through live chat, and then this girl, one, and it's so fake, because you can tell that um, it's supposed to be like Zoom, but what they should have done is that someone should have been recording from one of these girls, like from like from their house or something, and go through and talking from her, her view, but they didn't. So they're just like recording like screen wise, so, and she has a desire to go back to her ex boyfriend, despite her being going to be married in a couple of days. Time. Which I think that some of us, you know, sometimes um. If we think, like especially with the coronavirus, we we think of their, yeah, you know, ex boyfriend, but isn't he your ex boyfriend for a reason? Never go back to your ex boyfriend, no matter whether you dump him for. Whether good or bad reasons, unless saying that you know, the only time I have an exception saying, you know, you gave birth to his child, and you are co-parenting, then I don't mind, cause you know it's both of your kids, and. Both of you are co-parenting together, and you're just dropping him off at your ex-boyfriend's house. That is the only ex exception I will give. Otherwise, I will not suggest for you to go and meet your ex-boyfriend because you dumped him for a reason. And that the coronavirus shouldn't be the reason why you go back to him in the first place. So she said yeah. that the best they could do was eighty percent, which won't even cover my bills. I've been trying to think of things that I could do from home, but what? 